Well, today marks the fifth day since the deadly surprise attack by Hamas on Israel, which prompted Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to declare war. More than 2,000 people have died since the fighting began, and thousands more have been injured. Now, the White House confirms at least 14 of those killed were Americans. Naomi Ruckham has the latest on this conflict. Israel conducted hundreds of airstrikes on suspected Hamas targets late last night into this morning. Attempts by Hamas to launch rockets into Israel were mostly intercepted by Iron Dome defense systems. Military officials say dozens of Israeli battalions have been stationed near Gaza in preparation for a possible ground assault. Israel is also sending tanks to its border with Lebanon. We've never seen such savagery in the history of the state. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and President Joe Biden discussed U.S. support yesterday. We stand with Israel. And we will make sure Israel has what it needs to take care of its citizens, defend itself, and respond to this attack. The first U.S. shipment of weapons has already arrived in Israel, and defense officials say a small group of U.S. special forces are on the ground there to help with planning and intelligence. The Pentagon has also released new images of the USS Gerald R. Ford Carrier Strike Group, which has been repositioned to the eastern Mediterranean Sea to deter other nations from taking advantage of the fighting. Pro-Israel demonstrations again took to the streets in multiple U.S. cities yesterday. Meanwhile, in Gaza, residents search for survivors of the latest Israeli air attacks. It is time for all of this to come to an end for the sake of everyone. The United Nations says 200,000 people in Gaza have been displaced since the conflict began.